how's it going folks? Mike with New Way Ag. Today we are going to go over the hardware differences between the T60X and the T50. So let's just jump right into it. Obviously you can see that the T50 has something that the T60 doesn't. That is eight motors. So this is what is called a coaxial design. Basically this motor will spin this way and this motor will spin that way. Coaxial design. You have eight motors on the T50 and the T60 only has four motors. Talking about the motors themselves, these motors are much smaller than the T60 motors. T60 motors are much bigger. Propeller size on the T50 is 54 inches and the propeller size on the T60X is 56 and a half inches. Overall, the propeller feels heavier. It feels thicker. I would say it's just a better propeller, but that is because it's carrying more weight on one propeller instead of eight propellers on the T50s. Something I really like on the T60X is how the propeller is attached to the motor. It has a 5 8 bolt instead of a little Allen wrench bolt on the T50. So the T50 has a little Allen wrench bolt that you attach the propellers with. And on the T60, you have a 5 8 socket. You can put a 5 8 socket on the bolt and snug it down. I really do like that about the T60X. From the T50 to the T60X, the thickness of the arms is the same. So not sure why that is. I mean, we're carrying a little bit more weight in the T60X but the arms are the same. The ESCs on the arms are completely different. You're going to have two, obviously on the T50, because you're running two motors on one arm, so two ESCs. On the T60X, you're just going to have one large ESC, and that sucker is as big as my hand, really, really big. And then coming back to the locking arm mechanism, it is the same going from the T60X to the T50. It is basically the same thing you have that little safety you have to push that in before you can unlock the arm both on the t50 and the t60x the longest way across the drone on the t60x is 12 foot 5 inches on the t50 you are looking at 11 foot 9 inches on the t50 so it's just a little bit smaller on the T50 compared to the T60X. So let's go in front of the drones. This is where you're going to see a big difference going from the T60X to the T50 or vice versa, is when you look at it from a side profile, it almost looks like it's flying backwards when you're looking at a T60X because the whole thing on the T60X drops down in the back where the T50 raises up in the back. But basically what they did is they moved the battery from the back of the T50 and then moved it forward on the T60X. I don't know why that was, but I think they wanted to move everything in front of the drone because when the drone is flying forward, all that air is coming across the battery, the pumps and whatever else all because they moved it forward. Yeah, I am gonna talk about the height of the drone. The T60X is higher than the T50. It, it's not much higher, but it is slightly higher on the profile. If you look at the front of the T50, these are the standard lights that come with the T50. If you look at the T60, it has much bigger and brighter lights. So nighttime operation, the T60X is going to be much better for clarity on your FPV camera than the T50 is. And now the vision sensors. Something that's different between the T50 and the T60X is the vision sensors. So you have one set of vision sensors up here by the radar, another set of vision sensors down here by the FPV. And then you have your FPV on a gimbal for the T50. So you have four sets of vision sensors in the front plus your FPV on the T50. On the T60X, you only have one set of vision sensors right here. And then your FPV camera is much smaller and it's fixed. This meaning it does not have a motor mechanism gimbal, but it acts just as a gimbal does. So imagine that it's a wide fisheye camera, but they cropped it in digitally and then digitally you are you know, moving it up and down. So when the drone goes, it's still acting as a gimbal 
And if you have hotkeys set up on your controller, if you wanna look down, you hit your hotkey and it's instant. It is absolutely instant of looking down. It doesn't take that motor time to tilt down. So on the FPV, I really like the T60X FPV. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you guys. I do not know why they just went with two vision sensors on the T60X. And then the antennas for the reception of the drone are basically in the same location as the T50. You also have two antennas in front of the T50 right here. The next big thing you're gonna see on these two drones is the legs. The width of the T50 is about 18 and a half inches wide on the T50. And the T60X, the legs are about 22 inches wide. So it has a little bit more stability maybe with that 22 inches. Because it's carrying a bigger load, that's probably why they did that. Also the tank, you know, how they made the tank and stuff. Maybe that's why they had to go to 22. I'm not sure, but again, the T50 is very stable at 18 inches. In the front, obviously we've got this big radar on the T50 in the front. The same on the T60X. We have the same size radar. I don't know this for sure if it's the exact same radar on the T60X as it is the T50, but just physically looking at it, it looks like it's the same thing. Moving back, we're going to get into the tank. The tank on the T50 is a 40 liter tank or 10.2, 10.3 gallons tank on the T50. The T60X comes with a 50 liter but I am going to suggest upgrading if you're getting a drone that is bigger, faster, and carries more, what's the point of running a smaller tank? But that being said, you can put a 60 liter tank on the T60X, which gives you about 15.9 gallons of capacity on the T60X. Something that is much different, and we've already talked about it a little bit, is the pumps, where the pumps are placed on the T60X. If you look at the side profile of the T50 again, you can see that the pumps are behind the tank. So when the drone is flying forward, the pumps are behind the tank and maybe the tank is blocking some of that wind. If you look at the side profile of the T60X, you can now see that the pumps are moved in front of the tank. So if the drone is flying forward, you know, wind is coming across those pumps. So if we drop down here and we look at the, the pumps, the pumps are basically the same. They can do a little bit more gallons per minute if you have a four nozzle setup on the T6AX. As the T50, you're looking at around 7.2 gallons per minute max flow on the T60X. On the T50, you're looking at about six gallons max flow with a four nozzle setup. Let's talk about the batteries. Since we're up here in the front part of the drone on the T60X, now the battery is behind the tank there. Much bigger battery on the T60X. You're looking at a 40,000 milliamp battery on the T60X weighing at 35 pounds. The thing is very, very heavy. But I really like the battery terminals on the T60X. It has a much sturdier terminals connection wise than your T50. As you can see in this shot, you can just see that it has a big heavy duty guides, it has two big guides to help that battery get connected properly into those terminals. So when I go and I drop this battery in, I don't have to worry about if the battery is slightly tilted the wrong way. The battery terminals on the T50, as you can see, has like these little fins. And it also has two smaller guide posts, but those guide posts are much smaller than on the T60X. So when I go to drop this battery in here, I should be a little bit more careful because if it is slightly left or right or, or cocked just a little bit wrong, you can actually bend the terminals on the battery itself. There's little fins that are coming down and if that catches wrong, it's going to bend those in here. And that is a problem that we have had with T50s. With some time, as you're using your T50, you will learn how to put the battery in there. I really like on the T60X, since we're bouncing back and forth here, on the T60X, the battery, how you get it out, you just grab the handle and you pull it up. The moment you pull up, you're actually opening up the locking mechanism that is holding the battery into the drone. On the T50, in order to get the battery out, you have to pull up on it and be pushing the little locking mechanism 
it's not difficult once you get used to it, but it is something where it's like, you have to almost do like two motions. You grab the battery, start pulling, and then open up the locking mechanism on the T50. With time, that's not that difficult. But what is really nice on the T60X is I don't have to worry about that. I just grab the battery and pull it up because the moment I pull that up, it has unlocked as you guys can see there. And then again, the battery terminals and the post guides that are guiding that battery down onto those terminals, much better on the T60X. RTK pucks, obviously on the T60X, everything's been mo moved forward. You got your RTK pucks in front, right next to your radar. On the T50, your RTK pucks are behind your radar that's up front, smaller tank. Something I'll point out on the tanks I, that I forgot to mention is the opening of the tanks themselves. The T50 opening is about four and a half inches across. On the T60X, you're looking at six and three quarter inches across for an opening. So much, much bigger. If you look at the two filters side by side, you can clearly see that the T60X has a much bigger opening than the T50. You could put the, the T50's filter within inside of the T60, not even see it. So it has a much bigger opening. Moving to the back of the drones, very similar on the back, and we have the same size radar on the T60X as we do on the T50 to help with that terrain follow. And you can see, you know, looking at it from the back, we have a little bit wider stance on the landing gear compared to the T50. Now, I've personally never had problems with the T50 not being stable. We like running the rubber boots on our T50s, and we probably will do the same thing on the T60X. That is basically everything, just going over it, going from one drone to the next. I will point out, the controllers are basically the same thing going from a T50 to a T60X. There's just a few things that have changed. So on the T50 controller, we have all these different outlets on the top of the controller. So we have micro SD, USB-A, HDMI, USB-C. On the T60X, again, basically the same controller has buttons all across, just like the, the T50 has. But on top here, we see that there's a change. There's now only an HDMI and a USB-A. But if you flip the controller around and you look down here in the middle, we have micro SD card and USB-C for charging your unit. And then again, we have on the T60X, as well as the T50, we have a interchangeable battery. I really, really like that for my ag drones because you never know if the internal battery starts dying, you can just quickly pop it out, boom, get another one and keep rolling. You don't have to be connected to a cord. That's the same way with the T50. You have, you know, you open up the back and you can have your battery in there. See, I can pop this out of the T60X. It's the same, like, so. There you go, on the controller, the ports have been moved from the top to the bottom. Not a huge difference between a T50 and a T60X. Recapping on the T60X versus the T50 hardware. Octocopter, meaning eight motors to fly it. Coaxial design, T60X, four motors, carries more, bigger motors, bigger propellers. You're looking at 15.9 gallons, of fluid in the T60X with the 60 liter tank. The T50 comes with a 40 liter tank, which is about 10.2 gallons on the T50. In front of the drones, the T60X has bigger, brighter lights. It, in my opinion, has a better FPV camera for sure for low light, and it's instant because of the digital movability of the camera. The T50 has a FPV that it ha is run by motors. The T50 has four vision sensors, where the T60X only has two vision sensors in the front. Same size radar. Now, if you ask me specs, I don't know what the specs are on the radar exactly. Now, I will say that the T60X is showing me on the controller further recognition distance. So this will pick stuff up out to 98 feet and show it to me on my controller, where the T50 is showing me stuff out to 50 feet so I don't really know, is it the radar itself or is it a software where it's just giving me that data quicker? The arms are the same thickness going from the T50 to T60X. 
the arm locking mechanism is the same. You're going to have more ESCs, more motors, more parts on the T50 compared to the T60X. Let's talk about the batteries. The T50 uses a 30,000 milliamp battery, where the T60X uses a 40,000 milliamp battery. So it is heavier. You know, you're looking at 35 pounds versus 26 and a half pounds for the T50. So what I like and what I don't like on the T60X, I do not like that the battery is 35 pounds. Don't like it. It's just like, if you pull that thing out all day long, you're gonna start getting tired. It's just the way it is. I do like that it has less motors, so less parts to replace. The T50 is a very, very solid drone. It's been great. It just works, okay? The T50 just works. I really, really do like the DJI T50. But let's see what they do in the field. So on our next video, we're going to take the T60X and the T50, and we're going to go out. We're going to see how well they perform head to head in the same field following the terrain in hills and then in flatland. That's all I got for you guys today. You've seen a side by side comparison between the hardware of the T50 and the T60X. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next one.